There's a new reptile in town. Young, strong, and thirsty for a little world domination. Can the old school reptiles stand strong? The dinosaurs are coming to the Triassic Challenge. You were traveling back in time. Millions of years flash by in seconds. You're going face to face with the wildest creatures that ever walked the earth. You're about to explore a prehistoric planet. Today, we're headed back to the Triassic period and checking out the sites along the way. First stop, a hundred million years ago and the Cretaceous period where we see beauty and the beast. Tyrannosaurus Rex is king, but chaos rules. Racing back another 50 million years brings us to the Jurassic period. The earth is swarming with dinosaurs. The sea is filled with reptiles that make sharks look like goldfish. The sky is home to reptiles that make eagles look like insects. But there's no time for the Jurassic today. Our final destination is 220 million years ago, in the late Triassic period. The Triassic is the age of deserts and old school reptiles. It's also the dawn of a new kind of reptile, the dinosaur. The struggle between the old and the new is about to begin. The world as we know it is unrecognizable. There's one massive continent called Pangaea. It'll take 165 million years before this giant cookie crumbles into the seven continents that we know today. But now, Pangaea is still doing what it does best, hosting a giant battle for the survival of the fittest. And who's this top flight competitor? Dinosaur? Bird? Neither. Meet Metinosaurus. She's a flying reptile. She's got a two foot wingspan, a beak full of sharp teeth, and she's big on eating bugs. Pretty much any bug will do. But oh, those succulent dragonflies. The Triassic food chain works something like this. If you want to eat, pick on someone smaller than you. It works for Petinosaurus. While Petinosaurus looks to the sky for food, these slow-moving reptiles look to the ground. And pray no one dropped a mirror. Not attractive. They're called Placerias. They may look like dinosaurs, but they're not. They're 12 feet long, and they use their sharp tusks to forage and fight. So where are the dinosaurs? Well, here comes one now. Dinosaurs are a type of reptile, but with a big difference. Dinosaurs have a new leg design that evolution is still testing out. Whether it's a winner or a loser is what the Triassic Challenge is all about. This is Coelophysis. He's an early dinosaur who's only 10 feet long. He's on two legs instead of four, and he's built for speed. Placerius isn't a dinosaur because it's got the old leg design. Old school reptiles like Placerius have legs that sprawl out away from their bodies. But here in the Triassic, the dinosaurs have evolved legs that are directly under their hips, just like people. So if it waddles like these guys, it's a reptile from the old school. These two young bulls are fighting. And when these guys get in each other's face, there's only one word that describes it. 